so this is actually pretty embarrassing. Um, a few years ago, um, I had a friend that was um, in Alaska, so I made this little flyer. It's a picture of me posing on top of a dumpster, and it says, single white female, 30. Looking for a lumberjack, roughneck, or a longshore fisherman. Motor oil, not baby oil. Or you could be a famous movie director, but then you probably wouldn't be living in Alaska. Or you could live with your mom as long as you look like Joaquin Phoenix. I need someone to watch Dr. Phil with, as long as you've never been on his show. One time I stole 40 bucks from a blind priest. The last guy I made out with was Amish. I have dogs. I've been to the Alamo twice. I spent seven winters in Texas planting trees in Texas while camping there. I love junkyards and scary movies. I sew and make dolls and write screenplays and poems. I like alcoholic beverages. I have posters of Britney Spears, Madonna, and Green Day. No, I'm not kidding. I went to a John Mellencamp concert and got a nosebleed. I'm great at throwing parties. I've been to Yellowstone twice. I've been to jail twice. I spent a summer working as a Girl Scout counselor at the same camp I went to as a kid. I have seven tattoos. Will you sing Beer for My Horses with me at a karaoke bar? Write me, Charlie Hillman. Anyway, so my friend who is in Alaska picked this magazine up for me. It's called Alaska Man, and it, it has, like, eligible men in it. And then, you know, if you find one in there you like, you send them a picture and write them a letter. Well, anyways... I was going through my stuff today, and I see a couple of these letters. I wrote these guys, but I never sent them, and it's like, could I be any more stupid and desperate? And I mean, okay, check this out. Bruin. This was written March 25th of 06. Hi, my name is Charlie. Susie recommended typing your letter. My computer is not working. I like handwritten letters better. Anyways, they are more personal. But I do have bad handwriting. I think it's because I write fast, but I talk kind of fast. <laughs> I wanted to write you because your article said that you were open to anyone who would be contacting you, and I thought that was really cool, even if it was your mom that said it. Or was it? I would love to get a letter from you, but I must tell you, I am 30 years old and 5 foot 7. But I would love to be pen pals. I love to write letters. I really wish my handwriting was better. I am so embarrassed. I could also use a spell check. <laughs> my friend Elena was at my place today and she was looking at my Alaska Men magazine and she was pretty impressed with you. I am too. She recommended I write you. I told her that he wouldn't be interested in someone seven years older than him. She started asking Kutcher, but I don't look as good as be me more. Anyway, it would be really nice to have someone in Alaska to write to and maybe someday coming to meet and visit. I guess I am also an artist. I do pretty cool collages. I might sound, it might sound lame, but they are actually pretty cool. I use fashion magazines and mix up faces, hair, and body parts to make the models look like really distorted. They are really fun to make. I also consider myself a pretty good dancer. When I lived in New York City, I did some ballroom dancing and got pretty good at swing dancing. It is so much fun. I love dancing. I dance every day in my kitchen. It cheers me up. I'll play hollaback girl and do a cheerleading routine. <laughs> I think it is so wonderful that you have a goal and an interest in aviation. My dream is to be a writer. I may be moving so I can go to school for creative writing. My dream would be to write for Saturday Night Live and be successful with screenplays. I also have a stand-up comedy routine, which I have not yet performed. I enclose the flyer with this letter. My very cool friend, Jesse, my best friend, since, best friend from middle school, is visiting family in Fairbanks right now, and I made this stupid flyer for her to pass out. I meant for it to be a joke, but she thought it was cool, so she posted it all over the place. I don't know. I guess the last is seems so romantic. I like the idea of wilderness and being in a cabin in the snow and cutting wood and making pancakes on a wood stove. Another thing about my friend Jessie is that I'd love to apply for that reality show The Amazing Race with her. She is so awesome. I think we would kick some butt on that show. But it would be a bummer to be in some really cool country like you'd be rushing around Nepal asking Sherpas for the clue to for our next destination after just getting a glimpse of Mount Everest. That's my dream. I would really like
<laughs> to go to Nepal and just climb to base camp. I've done some rock climbing, but I don't really aspire to climb Mount Everest. I guess I've got less adventurous with age. I'm sure most people know that being an air traffic controller is very stressful. Did you ever see the movie Pushing Tin? I'm sure you have. I really liked it, but it's pretty insane. You have a lot of guts. Well, I really enjoyed writing to you, and I would love to hear from you. Charlie. <laughs> okay, God, what the hell? <laughs> this, uh, this Brian. Yeah, okay. You seem awesome. A dream come true. But I am blonde and blue-eyed. My friend Elena said I should write to you anyway. We could always be friends. Anyway, you may be able to tell from my enclosed flyer you fit the criteria for what I'm seeking. Alaska just seems romantic to me. The wilderness and snow. I've never been there and it seems so beautiful. I would love to go on an airplane ride with you and hear about your fishing. <laughs> I love the picture of you with your fish. <laughs> I have a dream of going to Alaska and washing dishes on our oil rig. But I'm not sure if they hire girls. I have a fascination and a fear of the ocean and I'd like to be out on it. You seem pretty wise in that you spend a lot of time thinking. It is great to see that you still have your sense of adventure. I've gotten less thrill seeking since turning 30. I can't even ride my bike down a hill. <laughs> I'm very curious about Alaska in many ways, but it is true that there aren't many women there. I went to Montana one summer and the ratio of men to women was like 20 to 1. I went to the bar one night where there were like 50 guys and 4 girls. Every time I looked around, every guy in the place was staring at me. It was kind of creepy. You ever seen that movie Grizzly Man? It's a documentary about a guy that spent 13 summers documenting grizzly bears in Alaska before he was finally mauled to death. He was a pretty weird guy, and it was a pretty weird movie. <laughs> I don't really have an awesome job right now, but I dream of being a writer. I may move soon so I can go to school for a creative writing. I would love to write for a TV show like Saturday Night Live. I also have a stand routine that I've wrote. Here's a one-liner for you. If our plane crashed in the mountains, would you eat me? Okay, that was gross. Anyway, I'm a pervert, a little perverted. Well, if that didn't turn you off too much, I would love to hear from you. I really like to have someone in Alaska to write to, Charlie. Okay, now you know you're desperate when you <laughs> I mean, like the one place in the world where there's like a billion guys to one woman. You're <laughs> Okay, anyways, yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks.